I'm Ryan Ketchup, Neil. And you're watching the ESL Mortal Kombat X Pro League presented by Xbox. Shout outs to Ketchup and Mustard. Definitely. Thank you so much. This is now going to be the semi final losers match. Winner will go on to face Nivik in the fan choice tournament where none other than a Foxy Grandpa is waiting in grand finals. My name is Dustin Kane. <laughs> and of so course, cool. Brian Compton. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Yeah. Justin Wong versus Perfect Legend. Who's going to advance? I think Justin. You think Perfect Legend. Yeah, I, I want PL to win just because I uh, posted that in my predictions earlier, and I just want to be right about everything tonight. Well, you were right about 60% tonight, I mean, which isn't bad. That's not I a mean, bad win rate. I think it was higher than 60%. I guess a D is acceptable for you. You said the D and the C is passing. I, I think I got a 70, which is passing. I'll take it. I'll take it. Man. All right. So, Jay Wong Kale, man. Both of these players are set up. Let's go ahead and head right into I, it. I can't wait to see this match. Ugh, I'm so emotionally drained. The matches have just been ridiculous tonight. I'm emotionally drained. Where is my cognac? That's what you sound like right now. I don't drink cognac. I'm a whiskey guy. Hey, easy, easy, easy. Get it right. That's there's, all I'm saying. There's children. If you're going to insult me, do it right. I'm not insulting you. <laughs> I'm, okay, yeah, I know. That's a little was. condescending. <laughs> a little condescending, at least. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Getting in. All right, so of course, uh, PL's using Tempest. And immediately starts off with a teleport. All right. Nice. Four. Perfect Legend. A lot of teleporting. He's going all over Justin right now with a pretty decent life lead. Oh, nice read. Neutral jump punch for Justin, but he's still stuck in the corner. Perfect Legend. He's got to be careful here, and an EX spin to cut it out. And there it is. Cuts it out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to fix that for you just for a second. We are aware of the overlay. But of course, we, we do know who's who here. Yes, quite this easy. is not, this a, is not mirror a mirror match. match. We know who plays Kung Lao, we know who plays Radio. Oh, so. jump it, but no. That was, it that was, was it. an odd jump in. It was. Also, I mean, um, Raiden has a meter right now. Carl, though, great first round. And again, these matches are just so fast-paced. And that grab it. You can either neutral duck it or oh, you man. can backdash, but... Oh, Justin, Justin not this time. Use meter. Not this time, bro. All the way to the corner. I'm not going to let you do that to me. Stuffs it. He's got to be careful. Up? Oh, that's going to be huge damage. Just close it out right here. I think it, I think it will. It is. Yep. That overhead leads to such much damage. It, you know what's... When such you just, much. Yeah, such much. Fight. How life. <laughs> It just sounds meaty too. Like yeah. it feels like you're about to eat a lot of damage. Oh! Oh, gets a jump over. Good stuff by Carl here. Carl was hesitant too because the first armor of that was actually broken. And you know, just in case anyone doesn't know, Perfect Legend is named Carl. Yes. <laughs> We've been calling him. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Just in case, just in case. I mean, everybody should know PL, but. All right, nice juggle that. combo. He's going to get close to closing it out, but not quite. That was swaggy. I love it. Oh, oh Justin, really that was smart, smart stuff. He waited. No way. Oh, the, oh, my goodness. The Justin Wong comeback. Can we see it here? The Wong factor is an effect here. It is a real thing. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Can he do it? Oh, that was so close. Oh, wow. Justin coming back from a huge life deficit. I'm I mean, almost taking it. Almost, almost. That was just the first match. That was just the, was first, just the match. first match. We are taking a pause just so we can fix that overlay for you guys. We apologize. Perfect Legend taking the first match, but it is a best of five. So of course, of course. First and to three. Justin, if if I've ever learned anything in the last, I haven't been in the FGC very long in the last five years, it's that you never count Justin Wong out. No, I no, have definitely not. lost quite a few MK dollars. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, there's no Betting way he's coming Justin. back. Yeah. yeah. Don't do it. It's not smart. So <laughs> Perfect Legend does have a very, very, very good start. You yes. always want to start out ahead of Justin. Right. But he's like... It's, he's it, like Justin Wong? No, well, obviously you he's like Justin. To? What I'm comparing it to is Justin is almost like a turbocharger. Even if he loses in the beginning, once he kicks in, it's full throttle all the way. My analogies have not been on point today. I, I, I was actually just about to compliment your analogies. You know, I will. I, I do want to point out, though, that that is an amazing feature that they put in this game is that you can move the health bar. Right? Yeah. That's so cool. The overlay, I love it. Yeah. Justin Wong starting very good. Has Perfect Legend in the corner. PL was able to poke out. You know what we're not oh, seeing. Right you know what we're not seeing from Justin is that anti-air that we see from Nivik so well. Uh, absolutely agree there. So maybe it is uh, Nivik. I believe we, it is. Yeah, we posed the question earlier. It was a little bit of both, but 
again, I mean, Raiden obviously has the buttons, but Nivik really understanding how to use those normals for anti-air situations. It seems like weird timing. Like, Nivik, if you notice, he waits, mm -hmm. well, it, he waits longer than it, than it looks like yes. he should. But it works. Right. That was a decent trade for both players, but now really Perfect Legend starting it off. Oh, and wow. This is going to be possibly to ship. Nope. Okay, that's what Peele was talking about all day. The ridiculous amount of pressure that you can apply with Tempest Loud. Uh -huh. But we saw from Foxy that Busson can be just as, as smothering. Definitely. That's exactly what he did, yeah. All right, just using armor here to get him towards the corner. Not that he really needed to because he can carry from full screen. Yep. Nice NJP there. This is some huge damage. Okay, maybe not so oh. much. 22%. Let's him out of the corner, though. And now Justin stuck in the corner himself. That's going to be an orbit. that pressure. Justin tries to poke out. Doesn't work. Now off the back 3-2-1, you can't wow. actually backdash that hat as well as armor through it. It's not a true block screen. Is he going to break it? He's not. Probably not, which would be smart not to. Just and you know what? Rip. That's fine. Let it rip. That's that what was, I would have done. That was a good decision. Definitely. Absolutely. So now he's going into this last round with three bars. He is stuck in the corner, though. Yeah, but of course he does have... Nice! Oh, what a read. Oh, Love it. Justin was in his head there. Oh, oh, perfect spacing by Justin. Oh, <laughs> just in range, yeah, just in range. I think that was really his only option. And a lot of teleports making him oh, win, but no doesn't. punish. Oh, right the air to air. Good air to air. And that is that is minus what? three. The regular orbit is minus three. EX is plus 24, so you've got to recognize that, that you can actually counter poke. But you got to be careful because he can Justin also use there. armor. Of course. Okay, Justin puts him back in the corner and baits the spin. There Great it is. punish. It looks like this could go to Justin. He's got one more mix-up after this on Wake Up for Perfect Legend. He has a bar. Oh, he gets, gets caught. <laughs> nice damage. 36% running for the pressure nice in the crowd. Throw. Oh, this is so close. It could go either way, but uh, Carl has good. And oh, he just wow. Just just Superman. The Bobble The Bobble if you will. Wow. Win. That was really risky. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have it paid him out. off, though. I yeah. mean, you could tell that PL wanted to use something to get some more pressure, whether it was a hat toss, and he did. And immediately, Justin just went for the Superman. Yeah. Just knew it would work. Somehow he knew. He always does. Ooh, oh, that was, that really was good there. interesting, though. I, mean, he didn't get, he didn't get I think his buttons got reversed, and he still got it anyways. And the overhead. This is going to lead to oh, huge probably. damage. Meterless, 34%. Oh. That's pretty huge for Raiden. Well, especially meterless. The nerf, That's huge yeah. for anybody. Oh, and an EX orbit. Oh, or excuse what? me, EX spin. He kind of orbits. Yeah. And that was a huge opportunity for Carl there that he lost. Yeah, so pressure he's here. In the corner. Yeah, he just pushes buttons to get out. And that is a good button to oh, press. Back three is an advancing normal. Justin pushes him right back in the corner. Wow. Oh, oh that was a two. raw read. That was oh, beautiful. That was a pre preemptive down two. two. Fight. Oh, I mean, is Justin in his head a little bit? He might be. It kind of seems that way. Justin is now leading the series. One round over, but it's not over yet. Oh, that was smart stuff by Carl there. The, yep. the dash under, and he gets him to break. Oh, nice, nice little conversion there from Carl. Definitely. And he's still keeping the pressure on Justin like in the corner. I like how he's back dashing just a little bit. There he, he is. is right there. And this is going to be healthy damage, still keeping Justin in the corner. 38% with a hard knockdown with Orbit, just to prevent any oh, armor wake-ups. Oh, great conversion by Carl here. Oh, the pressure is real. Yes, it is. Oh, and goes in. Orbit going for the chip. He, wait, so close. wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, just out oh, of range. Oh, so he close. Gets a that was really close. All right, so Justin going into this last round with the meter advantage. Significant. He has uh, two bars. All right. Justin now starting it off in the corner for himself. Yeah, he does have two up. bars. Meter he uses throw, one of them, but that's... Up. Oh, that is immense that he did not punish that. That is, I believe, minus 65 on block. <laughs> At least. It's a mix-up. Goes Just for the grab. There it is. Really, Keeps him in the corner. really tricky stuff from Perfect Legend. Definitely. Oh, that's going to be a punish. That's huge. That is huge. Nice. Oh, the overhead now getting very close. Oh, man, Perfect Legend, and he's going to close out game number three. Good stuff there. 2 1 Carl. Now, of course, Justin is representing his team, which is Evil Geniuses. Carl oh, yeah. now with Razor. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well.
technically, Round Razor does one. do things Fight. for EG, so Interesting. it's not too much of a rivalry. So game, no one loses. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> Carl's like, that's not what I think. Right? Yeah. Someone oh, is gonna lose. Really nice teleport. Carl's trying to make sure that it is Justin here. Oh, good wake up there by Justin. Justin and he converts. Still fighting though. Oh, the. The stutter steps by Mr. Wong. Oh, uh, went for the neutral jump. It was not a bad decision, but Carl able to fish it out. And wow, 38%. Well, the, those neutral jumps are so... Typically, they're so effective, yes. but it's really hard against Tempest Lap. It wow. is. <laughs> that took forever. <laughs> nice oh, job. So oh. Easy out of sound. All right, has him in the corner. And blows up the, the meter. That's what we're talking about. Yep. That hat orbit is so good, it just spins and he oh gets it! Carl's looking phenomenal right here. Goes I mean, the this is match point right here for him. It is! Yeah, move on to play Nidic. Justin fighting on, not ready to give it up quite yet. Justin nope. never gives up, and nice oh, block! Oh, that was beautiful. This is gonna hurt. Great punish by Justin here. Damage, they're not bad. Oh, wow. Here we go! Nice trip card. Carl's got to play it smart Carl here. Carl could have dive kicked there oh, to get a little wow, closer, but no Justin way. is bringing what it back. It comeback. Not over yet. Oh, Carl that. does have the meter advantage, though. He just about has two bars. Almost, yeah. And Justin I, is now out of bar. I'm, that was amazing. That was almost full life comeback. It was. Oh, yeah. okay. And he converts oh, nice it very conversion. nice. Yeah, he gets, the, he gets the corner carry. The setup. No throw this time. Oh, oh wow, that patience so beautiful. risky. Justin is still, in my opinion, one of the most patient players in the world in fighting games. And perfect legend, though, at the pace he's playing, he's not Smart really stuff. allowing Justin to be very patient. He's got a lot of damage to do here. Raiding can do it. Orbit, and that That's is going to be it. Mr. Carl White in a... That was an amazing match for sure. That was. Even home. though it was it was 3-1, it was it, Justin was never truly out of it. Nope. He even brought it back with a very huge life deficit against Perfect Legend. So Definitely. Really, man. Gotta respect that kid. I, I can't. <laughs>